is the third year of this course so in this video we're going to be creating a key code kind of project so here you can see when log uses this message if you open this project it will say like press any key to get the key code so let's suppose if i type like a so here you can see when log uses like the event key is a right here the event key code is 65 and the event code is a okay like i mean like key a and if you hit like B, so it gives us the event key, the event key code, and also the event code, okay? So if you hit like space for some reason, so here you can see it along gives us like um, the event key, key code, and also the code, okay? So if you just click on the random button, so it along gives us all of its data. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our coder and write our code. Hi guys, so welcome to the project third year of this course. So first of all, let me create a folder. So I'm going to give a name of like 038 of key code. Inside this key code folder, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html. The second one will be style.css. And the third one will be app.js. Okay, so that's that. So now let me just zoom in a bit so that we can see everything a bit better. So I'll just go to HTML just write a doc type like key code and now let's just link it with our app.js file and also with our css so now i'm gonna right click on it open with live server and now we are good to go so for html side of code we are going to be writing a div with the id of insert okay and inside this div we are going to have a div underneath this div so we are going to be writing a key and then here we are going to be just writing like press any key to get the key code save it and we are already getting that right here inside our browser right here all right so that would be it for html so now let's just get into a styling and then just style it a bit so the first thing i would do we're not going to be writing a lot of styling but the first thing i would do is i'll just write a box sizing of border box and then i'll select my body inside there and height will be 100 vh and font family will be sans serif and then we have a display of flex a line item will be center justify color will be center like so and then we have to just write a text align of also centered let me just write there and overflow will be hidden and then we have to just write like margin zero and background of not background clip but background image or you know what just background will be fine linear gradient here we are going to be writing like a blue violet color so blue violet so that's that then we have to just write rgb and just write like 79 comma 21 and comma 134 cell file and this is how it looks like right now okay so the next thing which you have to do is to select or insert div right here so i want to just write a pound symbol and insert insert and now just write like a background color of totally white and padding will be just 50 pixel all around save it and this is how it looks like right now and now let's just select our key so now let me just select this key right here and then just provide a border of like two pixels solid totally gray and then background color will be just rgba of like 137 and 43 226 and offer transparency will be 0 0.7667 okay so that's that and now let's just add a border uh, i mean like just remove that border and color will be totally white like a text color display will be inline flex and then we have to just write like a line items will be center font size will be 20 pixel and then font weight will be bold adding will be just 20 pixel and flex direction will be column and margin we would provide a 10 pixel min width would be just 150 pixel 150 and position will be relative Okay, so once we save our file, okay, align items will be center. Save our file, and this is how it looks like currently right now. So now the next thing which you have to style is that we are going to be styling for JavaScript. Okay, so this small tag will be coming from a JavaScript. We don't have that small text anywhere in here inside our HTML. So now let's just style our key small. We cannot see that right away because we don't have that small text right now. So absolute. And top will be just minus 24 pixel and left will be zero and then we have a text align will be center and then we have a width of 100 percent and then finally we have is a 555 color and guess what we are going to be also providing a font size of 14 pixel server file and nothing's going to show up so for that we have to jump right into a javascript and add or interactivity all right so for javascript we need to get this insert 
into our JavaScript. So how can you do that? Well, we are going to be writing insert document that query not query but get element by ID. And now let's just console log this insert, save it, and open our browser. Go to the console, and here you can see we now get insert right here. All right, cool. So now let me just remove this console log from there. We have to just add add event listener to this window. So whenever we key down or we just key press, so you want to fire that event. So we are going to be writing like add event listener and key down. Okay, so that's that. Now we have to just call this function right away. So now let me show you that key, which kind of key we are pressing. So for that we are going to be getting that event we are going to be passing right here, like event. Now let's just write like event dot key. So once we save that, and now let me just open my browser one more time. So here you can see it is now telling us like we hit this F12 right here. Okay. So if I press something else, like let's suppose if I press A, so this it will just show us like the key of A. If I press B, it will show us B. And then if I hit control, it will show us all of the keys which I'm pressing right now. Here you can see that it will also include the spaces as well. So this is coming from this event key right here. Okay. And now if you want to get the key code, so for that we can use a key and then code okay so once we save our file and by the way this is deprecated but we can still use it for our project right here so now let's suppose if I just hit a so the key code of a will be 65 if I hit like B let me just hit B so the key code for B is 66 and C will be 67 and so on and so forth okay so that's the key code and now the next thing which you have to do is to also get our code so if i just get like code save it and now if i hit like a so it will now give us like we press this key a and now if i hit b it will give us key b c shift uh i mean like caps lock <laughs> Uh, I hit it one more time and then shift then we have control we have this all we have space right here so it will not give us all of the key names right here okay so we have three things now let me just comment out this for you the first thing we have is a key the second thing we have is a key and code and the third thing we have is just a code so now let me just comment that for you all right so now let's just add our html so now first of all I'm going to just take our insert which we grab and then let's just change the inner HTML away to it will be now equals to these template literals right here and inside that we are going to be writing our HTML so I'm just write a div and I'm going to give him a class of key right here and inside this key class we would have just um let me just close it really quickly like this div as well inside this div we would have our key right here like key and uh, not key but just event dot key right here and if this is equal to empty space right here if this is equal to like space so you want to just write like space and if this is not equal to space so you want to just get our event dot key right here okay so that's that and now let's just save it really quickly so if you just hit space so it will now use a space and if we just hit some other key like if i hit a so it will not use us a if i hit um, b c d e f or whatnot okay so it will not use us this first one so now let's just duplicate it three times so this will be set to key and then we have to just change that from this to event dot key code okay so that's the event key code and now the next thing and the final thing which you have to change is like event dot code and that's going to be fine there all right, and we also have to provide a small tag for it as well. Underneath that, we have to just write like a small and which will take the styling of this small which we provide right here, okay? And as I said that this small is going to be a styling for this JavaScript. So we are now using that small right here. So we are going to be using like e event.key and it will be like small. Okay, so now let's just copy that, pass it here and pass it here as well, okay? And let me just close that. So once we save our file, and if I hit like A, so it will now give us this event key, and also event key, and also event, and we don't want that. It should be like the first one will be event key, and now we have to change this one to event code, and this one to just a simple code. So we will just write a code, okay? Now let me just remove these empty spaces from there. Save our file, and now if we hit A, so it will now give us the event key of A, and then it will give us the event key code of 65 and then the event code will be just a if we hit like b and that's going to be there if we hit space so it will now give us like event key will be space event code will be 32 and 
event key code will be 32 and event code will be just passed right here okay so everything is working the way we expect him to work all right so i think that was it about for this project and now if you guys don't know about get and github so you can feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one otherwise i'm going to push my code into my github repository so if you want to check that out so let me just write that so get status will be just like 038 so get add everything and now get commit dash m and now we have to write our commit which will be like a key code uh, project okay so if we hit enter so it will now add our commit and then get push or origin main and if we hit enter so it will now push our code into our github repository so now let's just refresh our github repository so where is this 38 now let me just found that all right so here you can see we have this key code right here we have this index.html code you can found that here we have this app.js code right here and finally we have this style.css code right here okay so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye